What's up guys, God's Lee back with another video. In this video we're going to be talking about Mr. Zer right here. I apologize for the video being late and also this is kind of an announcement as well. Um, I will no longer be able to make Zer or weekly reset videos when the actual reset happens. I'll be at work um, or gone. Uh, so I apologize but that's just kind of how life is. I wish they hadn't moved it. I actually preferred getting up in the morning and just making them. Uh, but that's the way it is. So two of my major content pieces for the week are going to be gone. So I'm going to have to try to find something to switch it out with. Uh, but Zer this week, uh, he's got pretty much an awesome weapon. Uh, the Prometheus Lens, which is basically the solar version of the uh, Cold Heart. And it is OP right now. It has something wrong with it that basically makes you melt people. Uh, so the main perk on it is fires a solar trace beam and generates a damage heat shield or field that grows while the weapon continues to fire similar to the cold heart uh, But something is wrong with it right now that is making it uh, Just eat people up in crucible and so trials this weekend is gonna be so much fun with it I'm sure um, but real quick. Let me actually go in here and put on this new uh, Bad boy right here, which I think makes it look really cool. I think that looks really amazing um I, I don't know I kind of I kind of I like it without the let's see which one do you like better do you like it regular with the diamond right there I think that looks really cool or with kind of the curse of Osiris uh, Egyptian theme to it I think it looks pretty cool but we've got that uh, do I have anything cool that I can actually put into it to make it better uh, we'll check on that in a second as I pull up some stuff but let's see what else he's got uh, so he's also got for the warlock or for the uh, hunter as far as pieces go he's got the dragon shadow and uh, basically the main perk on it is uh, grants increased movement and ha weapon handling speed for a short time after dodging um, I don't really see a huge use for this uh, in the game but it does look really cool um, so it kind of depends on you it does have ornaments as well and some different things you can do with it as well as um, increased resilience and health recovery uh, this is not a must-have in my opinion as far as exotics go but if you're a collector like me uh, then you'll probably get it anyways and I actually don't think I have this so I am gonna get it uh, for my hunter next we have the Nazarek sin for the warlock I do have this one uh, it's got abyssal extractors so basically void damage kills increase ability energy recharge rate um, this is going to be really helpful if you like using the um, void walker a lot uh, it's going to help you be able to get that energy back and recharge up all your abilities uh, when you kill stuff with void damage so that's going to be really helpful to you especially if there's you know nightfall with prism and you really enjoy using um, nova bomb uh, let's see it's also got increased mobility and increased health recovery and then finally for the titan we have a new exotic which was a destiny one exotic the mark 44 stand asides and basically the perk on it grants an overshield when sprinting at full health with seismic strike hammer strike or shield bash equipped hits with these abilities recharge a portion of your melee energy so melee pretty much gives you more melee um, so that's going to be helpful it's not it's kind of like the chest piece for the hunter it's not that big of a deal there's other exotics that are definitely better but it's still a cool one to have um, especially if you're a collector and it's also really good to look at and works really well with the shaders it also has increased mobility and health recovery but really this is the big thing here this week the most important thing um, i really hate that the exotic is not here this week that you, it'll give you something you don't already have which is probably because they have this in here and it was also supposed to have some sort of three of coins as well but let me see i might actually put uh let's see what do i got to put in here um we need an auto rifle don't we oh man i don't want to put anything because i've got a 330 origin story but i don't want to put that in there because i like my 330 origin story let's see here all right i think what we'll do we'll just leave it like it is uh, if i get something 307 or 308 that i can put into it later um or 310 is what my blues have been dropping out i'll put that in it to bring it up a little bit but i don't want to i don't want to get rid of my 330 origin story i really like that i've already got the 325 on my warlock i've got my other two characters titan and hunter i think the 324 323 um, and I'm about to jump on the PS4 and do all my weekly stuff there as well. Check out this new raid layer, see what the big deal is. But let me change, this colony right here is amazing as well. If you can get this, this is probably my favorite new weapon in the game. It is awesome in every way, pretty much. But let's get this thing out. Let's check it out real quick. So just bring me down to 322. Also, this sniper, uh, sniper rifle I got um, for the new weapons you can do in the forge is pretty cool as well. Um, let's see here. Where's some stuff for me to shoot? Yeah, see, it just melts people so quickly. I want to try it on a boss, but 
no one around here but I've actually played against this in crucible and it messed me up real quick so if you haven't had a lot of fun in crucible lately this is definitely going to increase your fun in the crucible while you're playing but that's pretty much it for Zerda this week guys he's on the European dead zone so if you got a time go check him out make sure you get all this cool loot that he's got this week this is definitely the thing to buy if you're short on legendary shards um, and I apologize the videos are gonna be coming out a little bit later I hope you'll still want to watch um, but life is life I can't really do anything about it uh, but that's it guys hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like comment below let me know uh, did you buy the Prometheus lens or did you already have it before it was sold uh, did you think it was fair that they sold it this week since it had a bug I think it was um, is there anything that you're liking about Curse of Osiris or disliking about it um, one thing I will tell you I like is uh, the story I enjoyed the story uh, one thing I dislike about it is the infinite forest I thought it, you know, it's kind of boring it's not really that cool there's a lot of things they could have done to made it better and I'm probably gonna make a video uh, talking about some things they could have done simple things uh, that would have made it a little bit more fun, uh, make you want to revisit it. But that's pretty much it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed by having content coming out each week for Destiny 2, especially this Curse of Osiris uh, tutorials, things like that. But that's it, guys. Enjoy it. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.